Hi, uh, this is Billy Howe, and uh, we're going to go over some of the Boto mechanics here. Uh, instead of using notes and PowerPoint, uh, let's use the Kerbal Space Program because it's much more fun this way. So here we have our rocket, um, called Space One. And our rocket here is consists of, uh, start from the top, a uh, crew capsule, okay? And we have a parachute for the uh, re-entry and landing. We have a separator here to separate the crew capsule of the rest of the rocket. Uh, we have a reaction control uh, wheel thing here. Uh, we have uh, one, this is the second stage fuel tank. And then we have a rocket engine in there attached to that. We have another separator, first stage fuel tank, and then rocket engine. We have two solid rocket booster attached to the rocket. Those are separator to separate them. Uh, then we have two wings to add, uh, you know, uh, our attitude control. Okay, so here we have our staging setup. First, we're going to turn on our cryogenic uh, rocket on this first stage. Then we're going to turn on our solid rocket booster. Now, the reason why we want to do it this way is because the solid rocket booster, once you start them, you can turn them off. Um, that's why we want to turn on the cryogenic first to make sure that everything's working right. So after that, uh, we're going to release our clamps. Uh, so you know we have to lift it off. And at a certain point, the solid rocket booster is going to burn up. So we are going to separate them by activating the separators. And then at that time, our first stage is just about to burn up too. So we're going to separate that with the rest of the rocket. We're going to ignite and launch, uh, start the second stage uh, cryogenic uh, engine. So after that's burned up, we have another separator to just you know, separate the crew capsule with the rest of it and we have a parachute for the entry and landing. So let's launch. Alright, uh, so we're at uh, Kerbal Space Center right here. You can see we're almost ready for launch. Uh, let's look at the map real quick. So this is our solar system. We have, well, our planet, Kerbal, Kerbin, whatever, I don't know how you call that. Um, basically Earth. Then we have a moon. Uh, we actually have two moons in this system. Um, the first moon, as you can see, is in the, basically the same plane as planet. The second moon is uh, not inclined, uh, it's in a different inclination. Anyway, let's go back here. So the plan is we're going to lift off and then we're going to go vertical to gain some height. So until we reach um, 10,000 meter, yep, uh, we're going to do a row um, to around 45 degrees. That will put us into a more parabolic trajectory where then we can do our orbital maneuver to achieve orbits and all that. Uh, so, okay, let's turn on our reaction control system and stability application system um, follow up and start the cryogenic engine. That's good. Rocket solid rocket booster is on and we have lift off. Alright, so this is going to take a while. This is just going to go up. Uh, I tried doing the warp drive earlier and the whole rocket uh, fall apart, so I'm just going to let that run a little bit. Okay, as you can see, you can see the moon here. Uh, we'll try to get there. Well, not get there. But I'll show you how to how you can plan your uh, burns to get there. Uh, with this rocket, you don't have enough propellant to get there. Alright, so our star rocket booster about to burn up, we're gonna separate them. Alright, dump that. Uh, yes, then the pipe. Okay, that's right on the center. Okay, let's do a roll here so we get away from land. Oh, this is way too much. Okay, well, we're gonna get out. Second stage. Okay, so that's gonna crash right back there. Yeah, that's someone else's problem. Okay, let's look at our trajectory. You see right now, uh, we go from like a you know, straight up, straight down to a more parabolic trajectory. And 
Okay, to save some fuel, we're going to stop right here. How much fuel we have left? All right, a little bit more than half. Okay, so um, if you remember from uh, ME two fifty five intro to aerospace engineering, you know, uh, well the highest point of a orbit is called the apparatus, which is right here. Um, since we are not really in orbit right now, our parallax is like right there on the ground. Uh, we want to raise the parallax, parallax to a higher altitude so that we could achieve orbit. So how we do that is we do a maneuver at apparatus and then we thrust prograde, which means you want to thrust along the velocity vector. So as you can see, we thrust, you know, 400 meters per second. Uh, attract you get wider. So basically, um, you want to do this until you are in a circular orbit. You can think of it this way. Um, uh, basically, you keep you are basically falling, right? Uh, so the faster you go, you can go fall farther. And if you go fast enough, you you keep falling, but you misses the Earth, and that's how you achieve orbits right here. Anyway. Um, since this is not STK, take time to do a burn. We need burn now, and let's see. Aim to at our target and do a burn. And wait, is that? Yes, okay. So you can see we pretty much burn in parallel with the ground. And as we're burning, you can see that our orbit is getting less elliptical and more circular. So, it's burning, burning, burning. Alright, that's about enough. Alright. Um, Alright, so you said burn a little bit more, and the apparatus and the parallax actually switch location because now, since we burn that much, our, this point of the orbit is actually higher. So that's why that's the new apparatus and the new parallax is right here. Okay. So now we know how to do our maneuver, uh, you know, ch changing orbit. Let's um, do a little bit more advanced stuff. Um, okay. So let's say that we want to change our inclination. See, right now we're in like a equatorial orbit, like which which is like along with the equator. Uh, let's say we want to, you know, go to the second moon, which is you know totally in a not in, in like a different inclination. Um, what we would do is we would pick the ascending node or descending node and I don't know where that is here so I'm just going to pick a random point add a maneuver so if you thrust upward or downward with respect to the inertial frame of the planet uh, you can actually change the inclination like that so uh, changing the inclination actually use a lot of um, delta V so a better way to do that would be when you launch you launch into a certain Inclina like inclined orbit, so you don't have to do this in inclination later on. It saves you some fuel. So that's how you do inclination change. Um, let's try to get to the moon. Moon, yeah, moon. Okay. So what um, we're gonna do is a simple Hohmann transfer. Basically, how that works is that we pick a certain point in our orbit, and we do a delta V maneuver. So, okay, let's, let me just do it. Let's pick this point right here, at maneuver. And we'll first prograde. That will put us into a highly elliptical orbit. Basically, this is our transfer orbit to transfer into a high orbit. From here, we could um, basically add another maneuver. And we can uh, basically, you know, first prograde. And that will bring us to a bigger orbits right here. See this is how we do a home and transfer from a lower low um well low earth orbit, low turbo turbo orbit to a high orbit right like this. Okay. Um but since we want to rendezvous with the um, moon here we don't need the second burn. Well we need a second burn but not like this. Okay. Um so as you see here right now when we get there the moon is not there. So we need to basically pick a point so that when we thrust uh, the moon will be there so let's move this maneuver uh, 
Let's see. All right, uh, right here. All right, so you can see that when if we thrust up, oh, no. <laughs> um, Okay, I screwed that up, <laughs> but um, let's see if we can get that back. Uh, okay, that's good. All right, so let's okay this somehow. Okay, well, anyway. So then, uh, when we do this maneuver, when we get to the, uh, this point, the moon will be there. And since the moon has some sort of um, gravity pull, right, it will basically um, pull us with it. You see, our original trajectory is this way, like oh, actually it's more like, like this, right? However, since the moon is here, it's pulling us there, and it altered our trajectory and shot us like way outside, farther into the solar system. So this is like a gravity assist uh, maneuver. If we want to orbit around the moon, um, well, this is way too fast for us to actually like, orbit around the moon. What we need to do is we need to add a maneuver. So we add a maneuver here, and we thrust, thrust retrograde, you know, uh, anti-velocity vector. When we do that, it slows us down, and you know, the slower we go when we get to the moon. Um, the more the gravity, or uh, the long, like basically, they can have the moon have more time to like uh, affect on us with its force. Um, so basically, if you can do a retrograde burn um, enough, it will grab you around like such. So that now we are orbiting around the moon. Um, except right here, I'm, I pretty much crash into the moon, but you know, you get the idea. Um, you know, you would move this so that it's not so close to the moon. And you do better work. Alright, that's better. Alright. So, now that we know a little bit about orbital mechanics, uh, we're going to do this in STK. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.